listening to uh, LaRouche Pack's most recent fireside chat, the next step igniting a worldwide scientific and economic renaissance. About three quarters into the session, a lady caller asked a question about nutritional supplements or vitamins, as she said. And she was completely stonewalled. I wonder why. Is this an, is this a topic anathema to the Rouge Pack? Or was it just the host that uh, doesn't want anyone to bring up the topic of nutritional supplements? You can listen to it for yourself. Yes. This is Anne in Bay Ridge. Okay. Uh, I hear so much about that uh, we need so much medicine, we need doctors, we need nurses. How about a nutritionist? Where are all the vitamins? Isn't there, don't you build up your immunity with vitamins? Shouldn't well, that be? One thing about this, I'll say one thing about this. Uh, last week we had Bob Baker on, Farmer, uh, and Bob has a proposal for the creation of a million new farmers in the United States. But the reason it's, it works is because there's a million farmers almost who can't farm more than about a third of the year uh, because of the collapse of farm prices. Uh, in addition to which, uh, if they were to farm and farm as independent farmers rather than having to be uh, integrated into some or assimilated into some conglomerate, which is what you very much have in the United States today, if they were able to do that, they would be able to probably, within the course of a couple of years, and there would be a lot of work to be done for this to work this way, create a condition where the United States could become, again, becomes food sufficient, self-sufficient. It's not now. Uh, I say it that way because nutrition begins with food, and, it, and, and health and, and security begins with that. But the thing to say about this is that the, the, what Bob was getting at, and, and, and a lot of what we're talking about tonight, we're talking about Africa. We kept bringing this up. Africa and certain sections of Africa, like around Kenya, Uganda, and southern Sudan, have as much as 30 to 40 inches of topsoil in which if you drop a seed, things grow. We're talking about a circumstance in which if there is a reversal of direction, full reversal, in which we go to a, produ a producer mode in America, away from the consumer mode of the last 50 years, it would be a 180-degree turn. People would not return to about 70% of the work they presently think they are doing because it's not productive. And they would be put placed in or find themselves wanting to work in the productive sector. And the reason we're trying to push this right now is we're saying that from anything anybody right now can tell, we're going to go through a second round of whatever this is in about six more months. So we're in a circumstance which is in one sense like a war, well, but and it involves the fact that you have to do everything. You have to house, you have to clothe, you have to feed, and you have to care medically for the persons that are involved in the workforce, uh, young and old. Uh, so I'll, I'll just say that I think you know that's the that's the point of what we're presenting, uh, and I think that's the way to 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 address what you're talking about. I, I can just not help. Well, I have my cookies here. You can have one anyway. Um, I cannot help thinking that if people would be more healthy eating, if they would eat instead of ha uh, having medicine, well, maybe not instead of having medicine, but make sure that you also get nutrition, that you get vitamins. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. I, we understand what you're saying, and I and we 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 thank you for the call. We're going to move on, and I think. Oh, let me just say, if I could say one thing on that. I mean, as you said at the end there, in addition to, I mean, those are, I mean, in terms of health overall, uh, 
diseases related to poor nutrition are a major cause of health problems in the United States. So I do agree with you that nutrition is important. I think that if you're in the hospital, you know, hey, in addition to medicines, they should offer you a Centrum. I do agree with that. Now, if you break your arm or, you know, vitamins aren't going to help, um, you know, no matter what FDR ate, his, his legs weren't going to work for him again after he was stricken with polio. So I don't see it as an either-or type thing. People should have nutritious diets and benefit from advances in medicine. Well, I was forced to eat medicine and I was forced to be called sick because I came to a hospital and I had a little uh, high pressure. Uh, and uh, then, excuse, uh, me, excuse me, we're going to move on because we've got other people in the question. Oh, we, 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 but we, we can't just stay on like this. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, hello? So, what do you think about FDR's broken leg? And uh, the closest thing they got to answering or addressing the issue of. Uh, nutritional supplements was the word nutritional diet. Uh, don't they know what nutritional supplements mean? It's a huge industry and more and more people are focused on it. Um, you even have a dedicated branch of medicine called orthomolecular medicine, dealing exclusively with uh, correcting um, the um, deficiencies uh, in our bodies, uh, providing us with what uh, our not so very nutritional diets uh, provide us with but um, at least these people in the um, La Rouge pack don't seem to have a clue and um, well I think uh, La Rouge pack has a lot of interesting things to say but on some issues they seem to uh, run around with blinkers and uh, this uh, topic seems to be one of them it's really disconcerting i think